Although it's cooled down outside, it was just a few weeks ago that temperatures were still in the triple digits and those long running hot temps have far ranging impacts on public health and safety. They're red, they're sunburned, they're outside, they're looking for places to stay. The extreme heat this year was obvious to Kathy Flynn, who volunteers weekly for Catholic charities. The clients that I help have needs such as they're in a wheelchair or a walker. We don't know anything about them. We try to treat everybody with respect. A lot of work goes into dishing up 500 free meals daily. With Meals on Wheels, that number jumps quite a bit. Um, we're serving 2,500 homebound seniors each and every week. That's more than 2.7 million free meals annually in the Valley. And with each delivery, clients also get a safety checkup. And in the heat, those on the program get a lifeline. But the program has a wait list. Up to 1,000 people are on standby at all times. It can be a life or death situation. Whether they're a homebound senior that you know, maybe doesn't have enough funds to actually run their air conditioning all the time. Someone who may be unhoused who is coming in and that, that meal time is that only time of day where they have a chance to drink water. That can really be a, a hardship for someone. Over a six month span, 112 days were over 100 degrees with 36 days over 110. We actually changed our operations a little bit so we could handle um, the extreme temperatures. Like with our shelter, we opened early. Um, we did extra perimeter checks around our campus. We um, put out signs to make sure individuals knew where cooling stations were open. Dangerous weather stuck around. Like you can't stay out here. This is dangerous. October 6th broke a record for the all time latest 100 degree day in a calendar year. The autumn heat wave triggering yet another cooling center activation. Cooling stations are opened and places are available for people to go. The question is whether people have that ability to get that information. We need to focus our efforts in identifying more cooling locations in the zip codes that are highest risk. The barrier of transportation and 24 hour services is something officials are taking a closer look at for 2025. I think there's a big push nationally to recognize that extreme heat is a threat in itself. Longer and stronger heat waves are a trend that is expected to continue into the future due to climate change, making advanced preparation critical. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Geneva Zoltek.